there. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. The main reason women choose bad men. The main reason why you can call it bad men, terrible choices in men, whatever. Choices that just don't make sense. And, you know, I've talked about different angles of it, but it all comes down to one thing. And I would think it would be common sense for guys, but then again, common sense ain't common. Uh, yeah, the main reason they choose bad men is they, the choice is emotional. That's it. It's emotional. It's not logical. And I'm going to tell you what, too. If you look at the men who are truly select, it's not always a rational choice. You know, it's always not it's always not a logical choice. Now there are some select men. It is a, a um, you know, some logic, some pragmatic uh, to it. Because women can be pragmatic. Understand that. In fact, I got a video coming next week because you know I do my stuff early, talking about how pragmatic women can be, right? Talking about how pragmatic they can be, and when they are pragmatic. You know, they, they, they do get with a man. It, it makes sense and everything. Only problem with it is, is usually not when the man wants them at their best. <laughs> you know, when they're young and everything and, you know, got that killer body. Nah. But, nah, when women make a choice, one of the main things that's engaged is their emotion. It's their heart. As a mentor would say, they can't keep their heart stable with uh many of the men that's why they will go for that bad boy i mean they know he bad shoot that bad boy probably going out with one of their girlfriends shoot might be going yeah, shoot it might be their sister's husband it might be that guy who don't have a place to stay shoot it might even be that guy who goes against all what the media says is the ideal man but he touched that emotion. He touched that emotion. Indeed, if you look at a lot of uh, how men see relationships, they they see men do see the pragmatic side and assume, yeah, that's it. And you know, yeah, it can work to an extent. Actually, it don't work that well. I take that back. I say it to an extent. No, it don't work that well because when a woman is pragmatic, you know, she might look for that companionship. But for the most part, wait a minute, wait a minute. For the most part, though, really, dude, really. For the most part, that's when that money and status come in. There ain't no emotional thing with it and stuff. And then many guys, because they don't have. Uh, you know, something that appeals to a woman or in just a pragmatic sense just don't get anything. But when that one man op appeals to a woman emotionally, oh, shoot, he that's the real cheat code. That's where she forgive a lot. You know, that's why you, when you see a woman, she with a guy and he's average looking at best to everybody else. Or, uh, you know, didn't listen to Ron's body game videos. <laughs> you know... Ain't no six footer. And you'd be like, why are you with her? And the woman would tell you too. Oh, he made me laugh. Or he did something to engage her emotionally. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. And indeed, I'm going to tell you what. Now, people who follow me know I talk about Mr. Goodbar. Now, of course, you know, I ain't make up that term or something. And that term go back to that book from the um, 70s looking for Mr. Goodbar. And LL Cool J did something on it. But it just refers to that man that women find sexually appealing. Now, you know, it's simple to say, oh, yeah, that guy looked good and all of that. But that's just the bait. That's just the bait. And if they have it, you know, the woman, is, you know, she'll stop for 40 seconds. But the way that Mr. Goodbar gets that woman is through her emotions. He, he plays her emotions like a fiddle. She got that emotional addiction. You know, what a mentor calls romantic intoxication. That's an emotional thing. He plays it like a fiddle. He knows how to appeal. He knows how to make her stop. He knows how to make her 
you know, maybe be more interested in him. He knows how to touch her emotionally, you know? Because that's the key, really. Do You get past a lot of stuff because if you don't touch a woman emotionally, heck, then you really don't have a true hold on her. Even the even lust thing, even the lust thing, that runs out after a while. But if you touch her emotionally, so what happens, you know, they'll get with those bad guys because they'll do something to them. And it could be myriad things. They ain't no one particular thing, you know. But they know how to, like, really work that emotion, you know. They really know how to work it. You know, it could. And it's not even always, like, some somebody might think, oh, getting her to laugh. That could be one, but emotionally, you could make her, like, question herself. And you ain't even trying hard. Or you could, like, tap into, I'm going to give some game right now. I'm going to see who picks up on it. Her longing. Her longing. Now, well, i give you some more. Women, when they, uh, many women have a certain longing for a man. I ain't like you in my pocket. Chill. Anyway. They'll have a certain longing for a man or something. They'll tap into that just maybe, you know, keeping distance, being emotionally unavailable. However they do it, but that's that's what the key is. See, that's the thing. That's how they get those women. Because, see, too many people focus on the bait. Or they try to be logical about it. And, like I said, women can be pragmatic. But I'm going to tell you what. Here's how, here's how deep that thing is. They can be pragmatic and marry. They can marry that guy who got, uh, you know what? He got the height. He got everything on paper and still not mess with him. Like I told a story before, and I'll never forget this. This is the earliest I learned about it. There was a woman who was strictly a sex partner to me, right? Strictly. Strictly. I ain't never take her out. Only time we were out together was when I met her at the club, right? And, you know, since she was a sex partner, I wasn't putting on a lock on her and everything. So I said she can do whatever she wants as long as she was around when I wanted some. And most of the time she called anyway. All right. So I remember she told me about a guy who had everything she wanted she had met. But she said he got everything. He, he got her, he, he looked good, had money, you know, he had all this stuff. But she didn't want to mess with him. She's still messing with me. That's because I I managed to like touch her emotionally. See, that's the key. That that's 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 the key ultimately, you know. Because even uh, you know, I'm doing these handsome man videos and everything. And one of the reasons that uh, you know, some handsome men are having trouble because yeah, they handsome, but are they touching a woman emotionally? Because handsome, just being handsome, or even even with body game. Or even with tall, okay, all that shit's good aesthetically. All that shit is very good aesthetically. And that's good to look at from, for, from a woman. And you know what? Depending on circumstances, a woman might even fuck. But if you really want to get it, it's the emotional thing. That's why you will see like some average looking dude with some fine woman. Now, you ain't going to see it all the time. And some dudes would think, well, it must be the money. It must be the status of some dude be looking broke. Shoot, he could be a hobosexual. But one way, one way or the other, he tapped into her emotions. You know? And see, it's interesting. Well, it ain't interesting, but a lot of people be talking about all this stuff but never mention a woman's emotions. In fact, I remember I did a video talking about, you know, women ain't very logical and stuff. I mean, it can be, but if you're talking about really getting them, oh, uh, no, nah, it, it's totally don't make sense. I mean, they can't just see a red flag. It'd be some guy, shoot, he got banners up. He had the red flag. He got banners flowing in there and everything with, like, spotlights and everything. Shoot, you got, a, like, a full-piece orchestra playing, like, don't touch him, girl. And shoot, <laughs> and it, that man still tap in somewhere or the other, because really, let me go a little deep. A woman's orgasm really started in her heart. I'm gonna see. I wonder who gonna pick up what I just said. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they can they can still have some lust for you or something, but you know, you can, they get that hot, uh, touch that emotional piece. Shit. That's where it come into. And I'm going to hit on this on some videos next week uh, that I recorded. Uh, 
this way and stuff. But that's the thing. That's that's the thing. And then, you know, that's why they'll get with that bad guy. He has something. He has something to touch it. In fact, sometimes, I'm going to tell you what, with some women. And I've heard several women have said this. A couple guys have said women have told them this. Because remember, I actually have deeper conversations with women. Like I said, and I remember some, somebody showed me something from a detractor that didn't understand how I could say something like that about talking with women. I said, hey, it depends on where you do it at. If it's public, grain of salt every single time, no matter what they say publicly. Take it with a grain of salt, even if it's something that you want to hear. When it's private and they think you're going to keep it private, oh, they'll tell you some shit. And what some women have told me, and a few guys said it happened to them, is a woman had met a guy who had everything they wanted. I told you that happened to me. That that happened to me. But I was on a I was I was the I was a beneficiary of it. But you know, because I told you that woman, um, she said she met this guy had everything, but he just wasn't me, real. But and I wasn't even very nice. But it was tapping into her emotion. But here's the thing, though. They all say the same thing. They even all met some guy who had everything on paper. Everything. Even, like, their relatives will meet him and everything and say, oh, yeah, you should be with him. You know? That classical good man. That classical good man. I'm sure every some people have uh, seen that situation and may have unfortunately been in there. Classical. Got everything. You know? Even with the bag and stuff, got money and everything. Got money, dress well, clean cut. You know, women call them handsome. You know, somebody measuring their uh, face or something would say, oh yeah, they are eight. <laughs> you know, break out the ruler and stuff. They tall. <laughs> Be all of that. And a woman to go for just the opposite. <laughs> the women go just for the opposite. I've seen that. Like, I knew this woman, and she was one of those... Uh, young hot things and everything real pretty real pretty nice body and i remember she it was going out with this one guy who women would consider handsome and stuff because the woman said he was handsome that dude had money the dude lived in an apartment he had a maid come in and uh, buy stuff in there <laughs> i mean he had good height all that stuff she ended up breaking up with him breaking up from this guy who had money right break she left him got with this guy who didn't have money. He worked at the same, like, she worked at some restaurant. He worked at the restaurant, like, as a server. Had some weight on him. I actually saw the dude. He had some weight. He, he's the type, if, if he saw a Ron Body Game video, he'd be eating his ribs and stuff. Just say, oh, man, that's a good thing. <laughs> you know? In fact, he would look like what uh, many people would call, uh, he was just a step above what people would call Lenzel. Just a step. I guess uh, those black pillars would call him a normie or something, right? <laughs> you know, and this fine this woman was dealing with him. And she was like, oh, he makes me laugh. <laughs> he tapped right in. That's how deep it is, y'all. That's how deep that emotional thing is. Like, when you see that. Because, see, overall, when you see that, sometimes don't think about why. Don't think, don't, don't think about it. All you, all you need to know is... Okay, she with him, she ain't with you. Okay, let me move on. Because it was obviously some. Because, you know, like, sometimes some people say he must have money. Only a small percentage of men got money like that to really, like, influence a woman. Only a small percentage. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Any Anytime we're in a place where six figures, just saying six figures, ain't even... Yeah, that's 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 becoming middle class now. That's becoming middle class, and plus sometimes you see it in these people in a place where you ain't gonna see somebody with money. You know, they ain't gonna just be walking like down the street. If somebody got some money like that, shit, they pushing like a a serious car, something like that. So it ain't the money. So it had to be something, and. In all likely, in all likelihood, really, it's it's just that person. When I see something like that, I say, okay, they were in a position to get to know that person and to touch them emotionally. And like I said, it could be it could have been anything. He might have been there when she was going through some stuff, just supportive. I don't know. 
whatever the case. But once you get past that defenses, once you touch them in the heart, boom. That's when you got the woman. That's when you got the woman. And that's what guys got to understand about it and stuff. You know? Because I'm going to tell you what. When you try to be too, when they do pick a man and it's, uh, they pragmatic, you know, um, that video that got coming, I think I touched on it. You know? I think I touched on it. But when it's pragmatic and stuff, the problem is uh, somebody else, like if they said, okay, I'm a woman's dealing with a guy just because he got so much money or something. The problem with that is what happens when the next man come who got more money? You know? Or what happens when the money is cut off? You know? What, what happens when the man can no longer serve that purpose? You know? That pragmatic purpose. And see, a lot of guys want that. And even uh, when you talk about the physical part, like people are talking about the looks and everything, yeah, it looks matter and shit, but that's the bait. A woman ain't gonna stay with a guy. She ain't gonna stay with a guy just because he look good. You know, hold on a second. I gotta come in and get some shit. But uh, she ain't gonna just stay with a guy just because he look good. He gotta, you know, he would have to tap some. He gotta feel some purpose, you know? And sometimes even they, that, that could be pragmatic on a woman. You know, maybe she get that, she might be that woman who maybe doesn't look that good normally, but she get that guy because he's a trophy or something. He's a boy toy or something like that. But it's still not dealing with the emotion. Because, see, guys got to understand that shit. A lot of guys ain't tapping into that emotion. That's why they have trouble. But you tap in, that woman put up with a lot of bullshit from a guy. She will put up, she'll deal with that guy, that hobosexual, guys like that. They will deal with that stuff, so... Anyway, though, that's all I got for now. But just remember that. Anytime you see that, that's really, if you're talking game, let me just say something about that. It's an interesting, there's not enough talk about the emotional aspect, even from me. But then I talk more about this usually when I go deeper or somebody hit me up privately. Because even when I talk body game, what have I always said? I said, that's just the base. That's just the bait. You still got to communicate. You got to communicate to stir the emotion. You got to communicate with it. Seriously. Because they can look at somebody and say they look good and keep going. But then if that same somebody does something that stirs some emotion in them, triggers some emotion, boom. They got them. Bang, bang, bang. Seriously. And that's how you got to look at that shit. That's how you got to do it. So when you see that guy, like whenever a woman gives a bad guy something, I say, Psh. He got he uh, he got into that emotional core. Master DJ BGS will call it the emotional core. So once you understand that psh, place, if you know how to do it, you can tap into those emotions no matter what. Hey, you good to go. Oh, uh, candy gram. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings. Yes.